hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us for this week of Maxi Review on the Market. I'm Max and joined with Sid as usual. Um, and let's just dive straight in. This week was a big week for crypto and Ethereum, especially with the uh, ETF approval. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, uh, confusion maybe, or not even confusion, but like uh, people thinking, you know, it won't be approved as quickly as it was in the lead up to it. And then, you know, maybe like two or three days before the approval came through, that sentiment kind of took a 180 and everyone was like, wait, maybe it will get approved. And uh, here we are, and it has now been approved. So that is uh, the second crypto ETF that is approved for trading spot ETF, not a futures ETF. So this is physically backed uh, crypto ETFs that you can then buy with your, you know, legacy broker accounts. You can add them to your IRA. You can hold them within, uh, you know, the type of financial investment vehicles that normally aren't easy to expose to crypto or to Ethereum now have an avenue right into that exposure. So that's a really big deal. A lot of people are excited about that. It means there's a lot of potential buy pressure that's coming now from the sector of the market that was previously unable to participate. And that buy pressure will, you know, obviously manifest itself through buying of ETFs, which results in the backing uh, of those ETFs also being, you know, bolstered and bought up. So there will be inflow of, you know, Ethereum units into, I think, like BlackRock and Genesis and these big companies that now have their approval to hold on to Ethereum. And a part of that approval to hold the Ethereum as the counterpart to these, you know, ETFs is that they're not actually going to be using the Ethereum to stake or do anything other than hold. And that was, mm -hmm. a, that was one of the things that really helped, I think, push the approval over the edge and change the sentiment of a lot of people is that in, in kind of the 11th hour, the uh, submissions for this ETF approval uh, revised in order to remove the clauses about staking or, or any sort of revenue generation that would be done on behalf of, you know, the, the held Ethereum. And mm -hmm. once they removed that, I think that that really changed the tone. Of people were like, oh, yeah, you know, with that stuff removed, we'll definitely see the approval. And, you know, we definitely did. But that also is kind of nice news for people who are in just Ethereum on the blockchain and participating in this staking and stuff, because now you have less competition because now there is a, uh, a force out there that's buying Ethereum, taking them off of the open market and just holding them as Ethereum, not participating in staking and therefore not diluting the already existing state weight of the blockchain. So if you personally yeah. are participating in that, that's good news. Um, nice. But that's definitely the big, big news that came out of uh, crypto this week. And the markets, you know, reacted to that yeah. pretty accordingly. And uh, we but were, yeah, we, like, yeah, we were tracking this I was going to say, like, we were, we were, like, tracking this. And, like, we, I mean, since we're primarily traders and investors, like, we, you know, we look at, we, we look at the charts first. Yeah. And we were... We were this. This is a screenshot from our private Discord, uh, you know, the Maxiverse. But we yeah. shared uh, that, like, uh, basically, the market seemed to have formed a bottom, and this was way before the ETF. Yeah, this was on the fifteenth. You can see the yeah. timestamp there. May there 15th. we there we go. And Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum seemed like it was bottoming, uh, and we said, "Hey, like, now might be a time to buy back in." And here's the chart. This is a chart which we shared. Share, and yeah. you, you can see how, like, basically the price uh, held above our indicator strength band. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, this is our uh, custom proprietary indicator called the Maxi Trading Buddy. And how it works is that it tells you the trend. Here you can see it signaled bull before the bull market started. And yeah. Price tends to uh, bounce on the strength band. So in a bullish trend, it tends to like hold a support. Yeah. And, uh, and and green and bull just means it's a, it's in an uptrend. And even though with the sell off from like weeks before, uh, price grinded down, but then it held above yeah. the strength band, and but you know it it looked like a potential bottom. That was our so, first indication here too. Also that like the trend is, is looking bullish again and it's, you know, 
And that's also, you know, not everybody is necessarily um, watching the charts with this amount of technical analysis expertise. And so that's definitely something that, you know, members are, are members who are part of the Discord uh, benefit from. So we're able to like share something like, hey, here's what the, uh, the technical analysis looks like. And here's the action that, you know, we think is pertinent to take. Not necessarily here's what anyone should do, but here's what we're doing. Exactly. And it worked out great because like you can see like, Ethereum yeah, was, is. you know, this is this week's close and it closed right at weekly resistance, but we basically bought the bottom yeah. and it ended up being a, perp, you know, great. Like we caught the, <laughs> we yeah. caught the bottom. It's good trading and this week. The, well, yeah, this, it was, this month even. <laughs> yeah. Like we, because we like, we, we sold close to the top, like mm -hmm. looking at the lower time frames, And then I ended up buying uh spot ethereum close to like uh 20 percent or more of a discount yeah which is like ooh, that was a which big amazing. big green candle yeah. too there that you're seeing on the on the uh, oh, weekly yeah. chart i this don't was... think we've seen a candle that large especially like mm -hmm. on the weekly chart sure but like on the daily chart that was a single day like 20 percent green candle we haven't seen that for years on et on on the etf approval day yeah on the day and, and you know bam yeah this that one candle and now looking at it it seems like this is a weekly chart again and mm -hmm. looking at it it seems ether ethereum has like broken out of the, the bullish pennant mm -hmm. and if we take the if we measure the flagpole the target it targets the target is around like the last the previous last all-time high which is yeah, around like 4.9k yeah close to five thousand dollars so it's already broken out, so yeah, and there's a lot of room on the stock RSA. Um, it definitely looks like we're going to be grinding our way up there, but then you should also keep in mind that that red line that we have laid out there, that mm -hmm. is definitely going to be our resistance level, and we first need to kind of confirm this breakout by flipping that into support. Exactly, on the weekly, which yeah. I think we might, and the monthly candle is also closing, so I think we might expect some volatility this week, but, mm -hmm. but I think eventually it is going to close above. It's looking like it it's looking very promising and and once that happens it's gonna the acceleration is gonna be uh faster yeah. and then bitcoin is similarly also it's in a it's in a bull flag and the target is around 100k yeah so so again it's like that red line is like once we can flip that yeah, then it, it's... Tapped it it exactly tapped it just like look at the wick right there yeah you know what i mean so it's yeah. it's getting exciting in the crypto market. So it's really, I think the main takeaway is that like, uh, there's always good news out there and bad news on bad days. And we've said that before, you know, that it's just like mm -hmm. following the news is, is it's easy to like paint the picture. So when you see that giant green candle on, you know, the, the days leading up to the approval of the ETF, it's very easy for the news to then be like, oh, Ethereum is pumping because of the news. But yeah. it's it's clearly not because of the news when you follow the charts and and like that's how you're able to like we're able to post things like hey this looks like a local bottom here based on technical yeah. analysis and the chart movement and that breakout was already just forecasted by yeah by the actual chart movement and i think As that's why it's be, yeah, yeah, yeah that's why it's a better practice in our experience to simply follow the chart because yeah. like like i said there's so much news and so much going on in the world you can always find good news on a good day and bad news on a bad day and uh, the okay. correlation between that is not necessarily the cause of, of what's happening. So yeah, exactly. you know, it's easy to, to see these patterns and to kind of like draw conclusions very quickly. But as a trader and investing uh, like professionals, the, the goal is to stay un emotionally and unbiased by, yeah. by following news media. It's hard to keep no bias because just by definition you know knowing certain events are on the horizon is absolutely going to bias your decision making so trying yeah, to trying exactly. to focus much more on the chart has been yeah. uh, has been our, our, our uh, kind of true north for our and it's yeah and it's worked out great and so like crypto is looking, uh, looking it's looking like it might start the next leg up which is you know which is yeah. bullish so like and how you does know, that translate to the uh to the stock Let's market see, is that also so looking? stock market so this is this is a chart that we had also shared with uh with our members on a discord but you know we shared that stock markets might look to pull back 
Uh, this was in the earlier video. Yeah. And uh, it did. It did drop. And uh, once again, the potential area uh, for a bounce was on our trading buddy strength yeah. band. That's another really cool thing about that, where it's like, even if you don't understand all the technical analysis yeah. to the same level that like Sid is able to like break it down here, all you all we need to look at is is the indicator here where it shows like, oh, it's green, it's bullish, and we're pulling back. Well, as long as we're pulling back just to the green line there, the strength band, that yeah. should be where we find support as long as we remain in a bullish trend. And that's exactly what's happened here, where you know, we're exactly. in a bullish trend, we got our pullback, but only to support and we knew where support was, you know, one from technical analysis and understanding how to how to chart these prices. But two, yeah, because just from looking at the energy here, my lines. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it kind of bounced on the line here, it dipped a little bit below on the QQQ, but then see it bounced on it. But yeah, yeah it, it seems to have held above the band. And when we saw this, like basically multiple conditions meet, uh, we were ready to buy back in and go along. And guess what? It worked out great yeah, because very nice. we made new highs after that. Yeah, and that's that's years. still looking like looking at this chart. It's still like the SRSI has its room there. There's plenty. It's oh. it's a bearish like breakout beyond the previous all time high. So now it pretty much is you know if there's a pullback, it's likely to pull back yeah. to that all time high price and then bounce and move higher. Yeah, the, which is called an SR flip. So like yeah. we might see it like this week, it, we might see it uh, this or next week, or sometime we might see the price come down a little bit. I think it actually, this was a few weeks ago. So yeah. price did retest this sort of uh, the last all time oh, high. And then, so now we just have to wait for it to bounce and which, uh, which it might. So like, yeah. again, the stock market is also looking uh, kind of bullish. Yeah, um, definitely. Which helps crypto too. That's so true. both yeah. markets. Uh, As the equity markets do well, crypto does well. And, you know, crypto really is having kind of a, a second kind of wind moment here in this already ongoing year long bull run where I, I think, uh, you know, I mean, I'm hoping that we do see that push up now, which we showed here on those bull flags to break into new yeah. all time high prices. And then we're in dis in price discovery mode. And, you know, then it becomes how much juice is in this bull run? How far can it push before it shows yeah. over? And, uh, you know, we'll be here, we'll track it as it happens and then give our, our opinions and uh, like maybe sh we'll share what we're doing with our own as we usually exactly. do. And uh, hopefully hopefully you can, uh, you know, watch learn along, something, learn yeah. something along the way. And if you want to get more into it and you want to also be in that Discord and get pinged with those, you know, TA uh, posts, like when they're most relevant, uh, you know, as we're, as we're publishing them. So usually when, when Sid and I make our trades and moves, we're basically put like, talking about it in that discord in real time as we're doing it it's not like oh let me do something and then i'll tell people to do it it's like oh hey i'm thinking about doing this let's discuss and then it's like here's what we're looking at and so it's a really fun community so if that's something that speaks to you or if it's something like hey maybe i want to get into like these kind of investment strategies or these crypto things that i've seen about but i don't really understand it's a perfect place to kind of learn uh talk bounce ideas off people and of course get access to like uh the insight from people uh, indicator who, uh, yeah actively trade it and of course yeah that's the other thing the indicator that we're using here uh that's also available to all members so even if you don't care to participate in the social aspect of like a discord channel or something you could simply you know apply the indicator to your own chart and get that same you know it's like i don't need to know like i was saying i don't really need to know ta to to see that okay if we're pulling back and we're getting closer to the green yeah. band that we're probably looking for a bounce soon here and uh, yeah. it has a very, very, like, if you come check us out on maxi.io, you can take a look at some of the back test results of our indicator. It has very solid track record. And of course, you can just sign up. It's a first month is free. If you don't like it, you know, yeah, do the test, right. check, check it all yourself. If you don't like it uh, and it's not for you, then of course, no hard feelings. And uh, we're happy that you give us a shot anyway. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there. And until then, you know, let's uh, let's see how these markets push and how these uh, prices move. We're going to be back next week to to you know check in on this stuff and then start uh, putting some more regular videos out so we can, you know, hopefully help you learn by being more consistent and uh, watching, you know, how this stuff moves week to week to week and, and grow your understanding that way. Until then, stay safe and uh, have fun investing. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you.